Google Workspace tutorial for small businesses. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Google Workspace and how you can set it up for your business. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So since Google Workspace is one of Google's product, what it will include is every single product that Google has to offer. So you'll get access to professional emails like business emails, Drive, Calendar, Note, Live, every single app so you can see right here you get access to the gemini app sheets slide vids keeps uh, notebook lm which is pretty cool and app sheet as well and down below you can see the starter plan right here so it starts at seven dollars per month for user per month which is a yearly commitment you can go ahead and change it to monthly basis as well it will give you 30 gigabytes of pool storage custom business email you will have to have a domain i'll show you where you can get a domain as well if you don't have one gemini ai assistant chat with ai video meetings 100 participants and security management if you want more storage and some more options you could go with the standard one which is going to give you two terabytes of full storage which is 65 times more than the starter plan and it'll also give you some more options like custom layouts and email merge some you'll also have access to the notebook lm option appointment booking pages e-signatures and everything so you know it is pretty cool and we'll get into the other ones later but for now we're gonna go ahead and select the starter plan and here just type in your business name then just simply hit the next button next over here just fill out this info your first name your last name your current email address and click on next now here if you already have a domain you can go ahead and set it up using one of your existing domains but if you don't you can go ahead and get a new custom domain over here through google domains you'll have to buy them so if you select this option you can search for a domain over here so i'll just simply search for this it's going to go ahead and find it and you can see over here all of the prices that are available and i can go ahead and select one of the domains and it'll add it to the cart and you can go ahead and buy it right so pretty simple but i already have a domain so i'm going to set up using one of my existing domains so here I have a couple of domains you can see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with these ones. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can add these domains as well. You can get the domain on Hostinger and you can either go with GoDaddy or use the Google domains. It totally depends on you. I already showed you how you can just search for it. So I'm going to go ahead and select this domain and use this one. So here you can see I have all these different records, right? So we're going to let them stay over there. And now if we come back over here, I'll just I'll just paste the name of the domain, copy it, paste the domain name over here and over here. Yep. The email was sent to this domain it won't be affected until you set up this account. So we're going to use this one. All right. So now we're going to enter in the username and password and then we can just simply go ahead and agree to the terms and services. So I'm not going to check these two boxes. If you want to check these two boxes, it totally depends on you. You can, but I'm not going to do that. Click on agree. All right. So this is what we get. So now we just get the uh, plan and here is all the things that we get so custom and secure business email storages gemini assistant gemini app on web and mobile notebook lm unlimited e-cigs automatic noise cancellation for meeting recording which is actually pretty cool uh, meeting moderation control google vault to retain archive and search data unlimited appointment scheduling e-discovery data region and advanced endpoint and some other options if you want we can even add a promo but we're gonna go ahead and go at this one and you can compare plans but yeah let's go with this one click on the free trial button it'll start the free trial and we can go ahead and move on so now we just review and check out and we should be good to go so there we go so now i just gotta go ahead and add like a payment setting over here i think i need to create a profile but i don't want to create a profile but i think it I really have to create a profile. So for the profile, just add your organization name, your legal name, street address, and all the other codes and all the other stuff. And then click on create and your profile will be created. Then you can go ahead and add the payment method and you can purchase the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Catch you guys in a sec. All right. So they needed to verify something, I guess. So now verification is in progress. Add to upload some IDs. Now that that's done, we should be good to go. It'll take some time, so please don't sign up with a different Google account because it can affect the process. All right, I think we just close this up and just let it do its thing. All right, so we're done. It verified me, and 
then it asked me to add a user i skipped it i couldn't i'm sorry i didn't show it in the video i didn't know uh but yeah we're done verification is done we can now go ahead and click on get started and move on so here we go verify the ownership for this domain since it is hostinger we're going to select hostinger if you have some other uh domain provider or hosting provider you can go ahead and select it from the list and once you've done that just simply click on next or continue and then over here these are the uh txt records so you can go ahead and copy them so uh you all you got to do is just add them so for example over here i'm going to go ahead and type a name since this is a txt record i'm going to cl click on txt here you can set the name i'll leave it as a default and we'll copy the txt value and we'll paste it over here and this is the ttl so you can see ttl it says right here set to default or lowest value and then you can leave it as it is i'll leave it as it is uh it should take a little bit longer but i'll go ahead and put it like 300 and then click on add record all right the dns record has been added successfully and we should be good to go so ttl over here alternative code for verification if you want you can even add like a c name record over here so c name would be this one the name target and ttl set to lowest whatever so if you want to go ahead and do that we can go ahead and do that so i've already done this and let's go with c name paste the name over there copy that and put like 300 over here and then click on add record ttl means time to load or time taken to load so all right i've done that and i'm gonna click on confirm getting your domain ready and leave this page open so give it a couple of minutes and boom verification is done all right so your domain is verified you're set now we can go ahead and start using our gmail and create our own email address with this domain right here so we're going to click on activate gmail set up your gmail and send and receive emails all right click on continue and we are going to use this one yep you can add users over here but i'm going to go with this one and click on proceed to activation and this is the mx records all right so name set to default priority and mail server right so how do you add this so delete any pre-existing mx records or mx code associated with your domain and replace them with this code so if i open it up so here we can see i don't see any mx records over here there we go it is connected to my zoho account but i don't really use it so i'm gonna delete them all right so i've deleted the records now we should be good to go so now i can just simply come back over here name set to default priority one and mx record yep so let's come back over here click on mx here we go name will leave it as default priority is going to be one and this is the server right here paste that over there ttl 300 and then click on add record once the record has been added we'll come back over here click on come back here and now we're gonna go ahead and see sometimes it takes a little while but there we go it's all set now we're good to go now we can go ahead and explore google workspace so we're going to click on this button and now what is your main goal with workspace connect with customers collaborate with team or improve my productivity so for this one i'll just click on the first one or you can click on i'm not sure totally depends on you and then over here do you already use any of these i already use none of these i'm gonna click on i'm not sure and click on there we go all right so we are good to go we are now ready now we just need to do a couple of things so for example we've already done the first and the second we need to go ahead and configure the way you work so we can add users manage devices and stuff like that i don't i don't want to do that but we can click on the admin console and it's going to take us to the dashboard or the admin console of our google workspace and here we can set everything up we can add you know users groups whatever but we'll just go with i've marked it down boom it's done deploy two-step verification again you can do all this on your own you just simply click over here it's going to take you to google authenticator or stuff like that and you can add your own two-step verification i'm going to skip this for now click on done and now we just need to go ahead and use gemini so click on get started and basically finish everything up and we should be good to go so let me go ahead and select gemini and open up the gemini app over here all right so this is the gemini we can go ahead and click on chat with gemini over here and you can improve it over here click on use gemini boom gemini is set right now we have 2.5 flash we can go with the pro one but uh, there we go but if we want to go with the last one we got to go ahead and upgrade our plan but for now we are good to go so yeah we're gonna go back 
mark it down and boost your productivity we've already done that finally is to set up our workspace so again these are things that you can do on your own so like you can go ahead and download the application for desktop enable to set verification uh google workspace in your pocket basically download it on your application basically download it on your phone represent your team add your profile picture all those stuff once you've done that we should be good to go so i'm just simply going to mark them down why not and then use workspace so here you can go ahead and switch between different applications and you should be good to go so here if we click on this button right here we can see all of the workspace application like notebook lm this was not previously here vault was not here google analytics we've got saved bookmarks sites merchant some gemini app over here so you can see we have all the application over here google she's google slide we already have that so we are good to go so i'm just simply going to go ahead and mark all of them so now these are we're good to go so th these are all recommendations of course and here is your app by clicking on the button over here and it's going to take you to your apps so these are all the applications within google gemini all right so now you can go ahead and go into group for business right here you can go ahead and set up your business accounts and over here using gemini app you can go ahead and set up your google assistant for your different websites you've got your google chats over here so that you can maintain messages so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these applications right so you Jamboard, this is one of the new applications that you get access to when you go ahead and sign up onto Google Workspace, Notebook LM. I'll open this up as well. And this is mainly for research purposes and creating your own language model. It's actually pretty cool how it works. It's really, really incredible. Used it a couple of times to create like a podcast or something, and it was just amazing. But yeah, so you can use this as well so let me go ahead and click on okay so here you can create a new book all right so let's say try an example what this will do is you will feed it all the knowledge that you have all the pdfs websites links youtube videos everything and then you can click over here to load the conversation it'll be an audio it'll be in an audio format and you can listen to them as well and over here what are the core functionality you can even like go ahead and condense some of your questions and it'll answer them as a chatbot i don't know like a specifically a chatbot so it's actually pretty cool and jamboard over here you can see right here what can i use moving forward over here is winding down okay so jamboard application is at the end of life and then over here we have groups where you can create organization and all the groups gemini and the admin console this is mainly where you get to use your google workspace or this is your main account so here you will have access to everything so here on the left hand side let me open this up you have your home you have your directory devices apps billing and everything so here you will be able to basically change whatever you want to change add users groups whatever and here on the left hand side some other options are available like marketplace as well where you can go ahead and get started with your business okay so this is google workspace marketplace right this is where you go ahead and install different applications for your workspace so for example if you want slack you can go ahead and install the slack over here you want sms reminders go with that able poll in video trello and zoom chat gpt slide ai google drive all the applications that you would possibly need are available within the google marketplace and down below you can see these are their featured partners so canva miro figma lucid chart these are all their partners you can of course go ahead and install the application for your team as well so all of your teams will have access to this and you can even restrict those access if you come over here click on apps and here click on overview and here you've got all of the applications right so google workspace additional google services and everything and here let me down below open this up here you've got moderation calendar drive all the applications that are available over there and you can set them up yourselves as well but anyway let's say if you want to install an application let's go ahead and install canva we'll click on canva and first we got to go ahead and verify this so i'm going to go ahead and do that all right so canva has now been installed you have successfully installed a google workspace add-on right so we should be good to go so now we'll click on done now if we come over here we should find the application here as well so let me check if it's not there where did it go all right so once you've installed the application right so it sh it's either should be over here or what you can do is you can open up one of the applications that that specific app works with so for example if i open up my gmail account so here we go over here now it's loaded up now we should be good to go so here on the 
right hand side you can see we have slack and canva this is what i installed so these applications are going to work over here right so now we have canva you can access canva from here we have slack we can access slack from here so if we install more applications let's say we want more applications let me go back over here i was trying to search for it so let's say we want to add trello again if we click on trello you can see it works with gmail right specific applications are going to work with specific google applications zoom should work with yep calendar and gmail and drive of course drive google culture peer deck for google sites it works for google slides there we go and as i said before different applications are going to work with different google applications so Go ahead and check those out. Make sure you install it. So this was Google Workspace. So this was Google Workspace Marketplace. There's tons of more applications like sites where you can create sites, forms, docs, all of them, right? And these are some of the recommendation ones. But yeah. All right. So anyway. So again, this is the admin here. You will be able to set directory users. If you click on users, you can go ahead and manage them and you can even set their locations. All right, let me just go ahead and log in. It's not my account. Use another account. All right, so here we go. So here is the users, right? And if we click on the user over here, we have all the options. So you can see this is currently active. And here we have security, password, all of those. These are the groups and here you can give them permissions and stuff like that but uh currently since i'm already here there are i don't see any of those options but that's fine you can see right here manage devices apps you can see over here apps on or off other clouds all of them are going to be available over here and let's say for example you want someone to have gemini right that specific person then you can come over here and click on the gemini app button here you can see user access so if you click over here you can go ahead and add allow all users to access gemini regardless of license or whatnot and click on save if you don't you can click on you can uncheck this and then no one else would have that access except for the admin so which is pretty cool same with loadbook lm as well right now status is on for everyone gemini for workspace again over here some features are off like alpha features but now you get the idea right so it's pretty cool google workspace allows you to have access to all of the google applications in one place and you can go ahead and access them and use them however you want you can add users so that users can get access to those applications as well and all of them are intertwined you can use google workspace marketplace to add specific applications that aren't google based so that you can even you know add them for your google apps like slack you can install it for your google workspace i think it's already installed yeah it's already installed so there you go you have access to google gemini which is google's pump or chatbot and you can go ahead and use it as well pretty simple so evaluate the long-term consequences of space exploration i don't know it was just here i had to use it so now it's going to go ahead and think and give you the final frontier and give you the answer over here so it's pretty cool definitely highly recommend you use it groups where you can create a group and you can add like group name group email group description and then within it you can add users as well so let's say i wanted to main group and group description and then click on next and then over here who can view the conversation and over here you can set it only invites anyone in the organization can ask or you know invites only if you select that and then over here who can view the conversations group owners group managers group members right or the entire organization let's say we only want group members and who can post over here group managers can post it who can view members and only group owners and group managers can view the members and then click on next then you can add group members over here group managers over here welcome message and then you can create the group and there you go people can go ahead and chat like a, a group message over here within groups so pretty cool that way you can manage your team members with groups if someone wants to do a little bit of research you can use notebook lm and then you have the admins for you and yourself and other people and then of course we have other google applications that people can use your team members can use and this way you can go ahead and use google workspace to manage your workload and run your small business as well so there you go there you have it that's how you can use google workspace to manage your businesses so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye